social media and mental health management a video presentation by tanisha saxena and srishti shetty people use social networking tools to stay in touch with family and friends get their news and share their political views this has some researchers wondering about the long term effects of social media use because social media use is still relatively new there are no long term studies documenting its effects but several studies indicate that social media impacts mental health in a number of ways the increasing reliance on and use of social media puts a large number of americans and indians at an increased risk for feeling anxious depressed lonely envious and even ill over social media use why social media is growing in popularity social media meets human needs people crave interaction and connection with other people this is a main reason why social media has become so popular over the last decade While social media brands can create opportunities to share and recognize loyal followers with special rewards and incentives these actions make customers feel special and it shows them that they are appreciated by the brand you also get a platform to share thoughts and opinions this is also the reason why social media has grown surprisingly It allows you to share your own thoughts and opinion globally and get connected with people instantly. It helps to influence people. Social media allows you to become an influencer in your field. This can improve engagement with your content and enhance the traffic to your own site. How social media impacts mental health. Social media may contribute to depression. For a technology that's supposed to bring people closer together, it can have the opposite effect, especially when disagreements erupt online. Social media has been linked to depression, anxiety, and loneliness. It can make people feel isolated and alone. One 2017 study found that young people who use social media more than two hours per day are much more likely to categorize their mental health as fair or poor compared to occasional social media users. Social media may hurt your self-esteem. Social media can cause you to experience feelings of inadequacy about your life and your appearance. Even if you know that the images you see online are manipulated or represented as someone else's highlight reel, they can still cause feelings of insecurity, envy, and dissatisfaction. Impulse control issues. Excessive social media use can lead to impulse control issues, especially if you have access to your social networks using a smartphone. This means that you have round the clock access to your account which not only makes it easy for you to always be connected but can affect your concentration and focus. It can even disturb your sleep and compromise your in-person relationships. Social media may be used as a coping mechanism. Social media can become an unhealthy way of coping with uncomfortable feelings or emotions. For instance, if you turn to social media when you're feeling down, lonely, or bored, you're potentially using it as a way to distract yourself from unpleasant feelings. Ultimately, social media is a poor way to self-soothe, especially because per using social media can often make you feel worse instead of better. Social media and mental health tips and resources for teens and children efforts to prevent the negative effects of young people use on social media began by educating teens adolescents about the dangers these services present guidelines for safe healthy use of social media by young people 
should include the following strategies. Number 1. Set limits on the time spent on social media. Perhaps the single most effective way for teens and adolescents to ensure their use of social media has a positive impact on their lives is by spending less time using the services. Research published in the Journal of Social and Clinical Psychology found that undergraduate students who limited their time on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat to 10 minutes each per day or a total of 30 minutes of use for all social media were generally more positive and had better self-images. Number 2. Avoid falling into the negativity trap. A related tendency that teens and adolescents are especially susceptible to involves falling into a cycle of negativity that continually reinforces itself. The National Center for Health Research points out that young people who feel good about themselves tend to post only positive things online, which creates a positive feedback loop. Conversely, those with less self-esteem find themselves posting only negative material, which often puts them in a negative feedback loop. Number 3. Be aware of how social media makes you feel. Young people naturally compare themselves with the people they interact with on social media, but doing so can be detrimental to a healthy self-image. In the journal Body Image, researchers report that undergraduate women felt worse about their own appearance after they viewed the social media page of someone they considered more attractive. This social comparison factor takes many forms online that can negatively affect young users of social media. To compensate for the natural tendency to compare themselves with the people they interact online, young people need to remind themselves that social media makes people and things look better and more attractive than they are in real life. Social media and mental health making a positive difference. A recurring theme in the resources and advice about counteracting the negative impact of social media on youth mental health is to focus on the positive aspects of technology. For parents and children, the challenge is to monitor the children for signs of the negative effects of social media. They must also ensure that children are taught safe online practices to prevent them from becoming victims, whether by exposing their personal information or by putting themselves at risk of abuse. Healthcare professionals play an important role in helping parents, teachers, and young people having a positive and fulfilling social media experience. Degree programs such as University of Nevada, Reno's Master Public Health are designed to provide health leaders with the skills and experience to help prevent the negative activities that contribute to mental illness in young people. Social media has the potential to contribute greatly to the lives of young people but only if the correct steps are taken to combat the technology's negative aspects. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and share.